if higher risk you get higher rewards but you also die faster <laughs> while i was keying in all these numbers and updating all the current price numbers i was a little bit it's just money no it's not it's just money no it's not hello welcome back to my channel today while reviewing some of my financial goals quarter in i realized that with this new market crash i mean i have been realizing but i haven't been measuring or quantifying my actual loss in this market crash and because i haven't been tracking it so much in a very timely and consistent manner so i can only provide you with some of the net loss uh, from december 2021 to now how much have i lost from this financial crash and it's kind of sad because actually it hasn't even crashed fully yet so i do foresee more of my pnl to be turning red uh, all in all, I just want to give you an update of my current financial goal and maybe just to make you feel a little bit better if you are having a lot of loss on your side as well. <laughs> we are all in this together. <laughs> oh no, this is like a pity party that... Let's, let's just do it. Okay, not counting in um, savings or investment insurance related policies because I don't really deem that as a investment investment. Currently, my portfolio consists of commercial bonds, REITs. I started um, having someone to help me do mutual funds investment this year. A few stocks here and there, very little money in US stocks that is going down like crazy and also crypto. Have fun guys it's gonna be so fun while i was keying in all these numbers and updating all the current price numbers i was a little bit i wasn't hesitant i was kind of expecting but it was kind of sad anyway let's get straight into it for commercial bonds overall i'm still like breaking even or making a positive pnl i only have one commercial bond and that is the thermasic bond they just released a new one recently with only like 1.8% for 5 years or something like that. Uh, I actually got the one in 2018 and they were actually offering 2.7% for 5 years with coupons. So yeah, the market is crashing at the same time the bonds are getting more and more pathetic. Anyway, I'm glad I managed to get that one. It was quite a safe one and it was one of my first few... Um, actually, it's one of my first bonds that I've ever gotten after I started working. I put like $5,000 in there, including the admin fee. It's like $2 thing. And currently, I'm still earning around like $53 just based on the value alone. But if I count in my dividends... Or more like coupon payouts I have gotten from this thermasic bond for the past few years, I actually have a positive PL for like $450. This is actually how I track my investments. I track according to the total amount that I've invested, including the value of stock and also like the admin fees that is related to it. And then afterwards I will track the current price and value of my stock. How much am I making based on the current value and how much I'm earning from the dividends payout, if any, and the PL net that is considering all the administrative costs and the dividends payout, what is the net amount that I am earning or losing from that stock? That's it for my first pointer that is the bonds. For mutual funds, let's get into mutual funds. I've only started this, I think year end i remember i think it was 29 december <laughs> just in march though or like at least in feb i was actually earning a nine percent increase based on the value alone but based on the current moment that i've just checked is currently at 98 percent of what i have invested for every month i'm actually putting 500 dollars into my mutual funds so yeah whatever i think i just have to hold that for longer i'm not planning to take that out anytime soon anyway let's move on to the cdp that is the central depository portfolio i believe basically how much money i have in the singapore exchange 
that is one of the first few platforms that I have started to invest in alongside with the domestic bond that I just the commercial bond that I have just mentioned. Currently in my Singapore exchange, I have around like 22,849 Sing dollars. And back in December 2021, I have 22,271 Sing dollars. If you look at this number purely, I'm doing the same, but it's actually not the same because why am I so frustrated over this? <laughs> this year, I think I put in around 1.8 to 2k in uh, buying new stuff. That being said, if I just look at my current portfolio as at December 2021 and not including the new portfolio, not new portfolio, new um, units that I've gotten, I am actually making a 8% loss. If you want to be more specific, it's a 7.9% loss. I would say that the loss is still okay compared to what I'm going to move on to the next category that is US stock. US stock, I actually am glad that I wasn't so into it at one point of time. I think I was just trying out the market like let's say two years back. <laughs> so I put like in total 1.4 sing dollars into it. 1.4k sing dollars at one point of time i was earning at least a 25 percent increase of my overall portfolio however everything just start to go down and it's, to be honest it's just my fault because i didn't really keep track of it so now i'm actually making a loss of around 393 sing dollars in which that is around 27.6% of my invested amount that I have lost and that is for the US stock market which I'm glad I didn't put a lot of money in now let's move on to crypto okay crypto is like I think they just learned how to dive recently and they were really like going deep diving I still don't know how to dive yet I'm very proud of them that they, are, they managed to dive so much uh. <coughs> okay so i've lost like 50 percent of my invested amount in crypto there was one video that i've made previously that i was very greedy and then it dropped to like 60 percent of my invested amount and then it went back up after i've sold and bought um some units to 11k which is 10% increase of my original portfolio then I stopped keeping track of it not that I stopped keeping track of it but I can't keep track of it and now it's back to like 5k on average and my total invested amount in there was 10k sing dollars so that's wonderful in total my invested total invested amount excluding um my mutual funds and investment related savings funds i don't count them as my investments when i'm looking at this sheet i have put in around like 34.2k sing dollars and my current value now is at 29k.19 okay 29k.2 sing dollars which means that i have lost around 4.9k sing dollars which is 5k sing dollars and it also means that my portfolio has gone down by around 15% of my invested value. And if you look at overall what I've just said, right, you can see like the biggest loser is obviously the crypto. With higher risk, you get higher rewards, but you also die faster. <laughs> I actually have a lot of friends that I know, not a lot, but at least a few that who have told me, they actually plant everything, not plant, they actually put all of their life savings into crypto and they are still holding on to it. So I really hope wherever that they are investing through, their broker don't go down because then it will be a sob story. So yeah, um, the... The bonds, the com my commercial bonds are still making a living. My REITs are not doing so well, but if you want to count in the P&L net, 
in my Singapore exchange, I'm actually not losing much. Maybe just like 500 Sing dollars if you want to count in my dividends payout. But I typically wouldn't count that in. And of course, the higher risk about, you know, those of you who have bought Luna, good luck to you. <laughs> um, US stock market or crypto, obviously, higher risk, higher reward, higher down. Down, higher fall, okay? Deeper fall. Moving forward, I think the strategy is just my own strategy, I'm not giving advice here, never will be give, giving advice in investment related stuff on what to buy, where to buy or whatsoever. I'm just speaking from my own, own personal experience and I'm just going to tell you that moving forward. I want to try uh, putting my money into S&P 500 since that is currently very red and if it gets any more radar, which I'm pretty sure it will, it will, what, whatever, like just get radar. Put a fixed monthly amount into S&P 500. You know, if you have any referral links that you want to introduce to me and if your broker is good or if your app, the app that you are using, I don't know which app you guys are using are good, please recommend me down below so I can do my research and you know, hopefully you can help me to filter out some good options. And yeah, that's it for my current investment portfolio. It's really sad. What the heck? So yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's all for today's video. Um, let me know how much you have lost. Actually, don't let me know how much you have lost. I mean, you can let me know how much you you have lost if you want to join this pity party. But anyway, that's all for today's video. I'm glad that my overall net worth still remain uh as of my twenty twenty one financial goal. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. I will try to talk about more financial related stuff. I realize that I'm having more likes in those kind of things. So if you do enjoy my financial videos, personal finance videos, please give me a like button. I actually do check out the algorithm when I'm losing inspiration to find out what kind of videos I can put out more that people will be interested to watch. Anyway, I think in the next video, I'll talk about my housing plan and all the research that I've been doing and been through all those house viewings and my updates of my current life goal in getting a house is not getting anywhere nearer. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Don't, don't be sad if you lose your money, okay? Like, money we can be earned so don't i hope none of you are having sad thoughts or like pessimistic thoughts it's just money no it's not it's just money no it's not okay bye